Hey everyone, welcome to On The Couch. I'm Nicole. And I'm Lindsay. And today joining us is Dwayne Myrick. He is from the I Will Foundation. He helped to found this awesome foundation. Can you tell us what the I Will Foundation is? Well, uh, the I Will Foundation is a nonprofit organization where we mentor and we motivational speak and we do a lot of community service. Um, we target all age groups. Um, I like to target the juveniles and young children because I believe that they are the future of tomorrow. And we also do community service where we feed the homeless um, through Thanksgivings and stuff like that, where we raise money and we uh, distribute the foods ourselves. So wow. we believe in giving back. I know you did a project recently with feeding homeless, like you said, can you tell us about that? Yes, um, when we first started it, um, the initiative was to feed around 40 to 50 homeless individuals. Um, we basically gained donations from uh, Rutgers University. Um, that's where we started it at. Um, and we actually created enough revenue to get the food ourselves and feed 40 individuals. So last year we tried to set the bar a little higher for ourselves and we set around 500. And uh, we actually had two different campuses where I transferred from was Middlesex County College and we also had Rutgers, New Brunswick. And uh, we gained enough money from teachers and other uh, individuals who've seen us from the year before to feed over 500, close to 500 um, homeless individuals. No way. So, and we're trying to up the number again this year, so we're trying that to get back in a so major cool. way. That is so cool. Yeah, that's really cool. So what's the main motivation behind your organization? Well, the main motivation behind the organization is that uh, it's uh, me and three other co-founders, which is Davon, Femi, and uh, Zach. Um, Zach being my mentor. Um, we all have stories to tell, um, and everybody likes to grab onto a story that somebody said and use that as inspiration for their own lives. And uh, basically the inspiration behind the organization is to be able to give the people the notion that anything is possible. Most people actually lack the ability to go forward with their dreams and their ambitions because they don't have the support at home or the support of positive peer pressure or anything like that. So we try to give them that foundation for them to build off of. Wow. Now when you say this guy's your mentor, what do you mean by mentor? Well, basically, um, about two or three years ago, I was pretty much like a troubled teen. You know, I hung around the wrong crowd. And uh, around 2010, three major events happened in my life where on Labor Day, my father passed away. Uh, a month later, I almost died in a car accident. And as you can tell by the scar on my hand, uh, three weeks later, I was actually, I almost died because of a stabbing. So him, him being a close friend of one of my friends I went to high school, which was Davon, he actually mm -hmm. um, mentored me and helped motivate me to be more successful and understand that I'm here for a reason and I can get a lot more out of life. And then once I realized that and once the first time I talked to a group of kids from Asbury Park and one of the kids came up to me and told me that it had an effect on them, I felt like I had a story to tell. And I felt yeah. like my trials and my tribulations could be a positive influence for somebody else. Yeah, that is so awesome. Like, I don't even, I wouldn't even be able to do what you're doing. But yeah, we really commend you for that. Yeah. That's like really, really a great so thing. You, so that's obviously where you pull your inspiration from. And mm -hmm. like you said, one of the kids was so touched by it. What other experiences have you had? Well, some of the other experiences that I've had is that um, some of the younger kids that I had growing up, I actually um, mentored them. I used, I basically tried to give them positive insight. Um, actually, one of my friends, um, he was, he was in and out of uh, some, po some negative things. And I actually, when I got to um, uh, Middlesex County College, I actually tried to pull him to the side and actually try to help him. And actually it helped him to step away from that life and actually go on to college himself. And I actually have wow. 11 nieces and nephews. So I use myself as uh, inspiration for them being the first uh, child in my family to actually go to college. Wow, and you're only 22 years old. Yeah. Like I don't understand how that is even possible, yeah. but that is Anything is so possible. <laughs> you're right. I mean, the, the slogan on the sweatshirt there. And mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, 22, when did, like, what made you even want to start this at such a young age? It's like I said before, is my life experiences and the fact of having those three positive people that were also a part of the organization because they do great things among themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've actually used that positive peer pressure from them to basically have friendly competition and want to be successful. Because I realized and I, and I thought about it that there's young millionaires out here, just like the person who started Facebook, he was young. And age yeah. doesn't really restrict you from success. It's your ambition, it's your goals to actually push for it. So awesome. Anything is possible, any age you can be successful. That is so cool. cool. All right, well I know you have a Facebook, so everyone check out the I Will Foundation on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Dwayne, for coming on. Thank you very thank much, you. I'm proud to be here. Awesome, we will be right back with Rio to talk about homecoming on the couch.